Hey guys, this is uh, Sean Sean here from Artists from SeanSean.co. Uh, today I'm going to be painting, I think, another landscape. Not sure exactly what. Um, been looking out here on the bay for some inspiration. It's all these windsurfers. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do windsurfing. Um, it, it is a little more challenging to get like the sail right, make it look like they're actually supporting the sail. And my figurative is a little, not exactly as developed as I want right now. So. We'll see what we do when we get in there. All right, wish me luck. Thanks, guys. This is uh, Sean Sean, the artist from SeanSean.co, and I also do specials on eBay, uh, as low as $1. Today I'm going to be doing a brush fire, so basically a prairie fire on low, you know, really low grass of, you know, maybe 10, 5, 6 feet high. And this will be, uh, get forward to look forward to fire. I'll right, see you guys inside. Thanks. So today we're going to be doing a prairie fire. So what temperature do prairie fires heat up to before the fire reaches fresh new ground? All right, about ready to start here. Gonna do run through the colors. So we have Titanium water, Van Dyke brown, raw umber, raw sienna, pearly red, quin red, quin burnt orange, transparent red oxide, primary yellow, carbon black, aquithrone blue, and phthalo blue is our warm blue. That's it. Let's get started. So
question we had earlier was what temperature do prairie fires reach? Um, so fire right next to virgin land that hasn't been burned yet. So as the fire approaches, the, the heat wave that kind of comes from the fire is 800 degrees. So it literally dries out all the water from the crops or the stuff that's going to be burned, even if it was kind of not drought crops, but kind of semi-dry, but still had some water. It actually dries out, completely dries out. So it just continually burns because of this naturally 800 degrees, you know, temperature as it goes across. So it's really almost an unstoppable force until it hits maybe a road or it burns out reaches it, you know, it turns back and kind of burns over burn parts, it kind of burns itself out. So this is really kind of bad. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, the question of the day. Thanks guys for watching. All right, we're back again. So just finished, uh, let's zoom in here and take a look. So I really like uh, the sky, the really the background sky from the purple to the blue. I think that's pretty spot on. Clouds are okay, uh, sun might be a little bright, but it's a sun, right? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done the orange outline. And I got kind of the fire build up over the fields, which I really like. Uh, some of the grass, it's okay, I'm not too particular in grass, but overall I think it's pretty good painting and uh, hopefully you like it. Give it a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Share with your friends. Uh, let me know, have you ever seen a brush fire? Um, I know I've seen fire, but not... Uh, well, no, I saw the L.A. fires, which was crazy. It just someone started with a cigarette, maybe, or maybe arsonist. And then, you know, huge parts of L.A. burned down. And we were... I was kind of in the very beginning when I started to see a fire in the hills. It was right before it just went kaboom. So it was just crazy huge. Uh, let me know if you were in the LA fire and uh, um, you know your reactions to it. I know a friend of mine, he had to move, actually his house is burned down and had to move and then they're not sure if they want to stay in LA and it's just, you know, pure drama. And um, yeah, that's just kind of what happens if the whole neighborhood's burned down, you can't move back to where you kind of grew up. Uh, well, you can, but after five years, it's not the same and a lot of people move away. So. Uh, let me know if you went through kind of a major disaster like the L.A. brush fire. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys.